This is the new Acaso Brave 8 Lite and this could be the best value action camera of 2024. Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Welcome and welcome back to Gadget Rev Now. Action cameras are really popular these days for video recording, action, and vlogging because of its size and portability. They also have high resolution, great stabilization, and if you get the right action camera, you will have a great microphone too. Today we're collaborating with Acaso to review the Brave 8 Lite, but as always, this will be an independent review of Gadget Rev now. We will unbox it, talk about the features, the accessories, and do a camera performance test. Let's go to work. First, we will do the unboxing, but if you'd like to jump to the other parts of the video, like the features and the camera performance test, I will leave the timestamp on the description below. Let's quickly unbox the Acaso Brave 8 Lite, and if you'd like to purchase this product after this review, I will leave the link in the description below. This new action camera can record 4K 60fps, it also stabilization or what they call super smooth and waterproof protection. Also a quick shout, you can follow Acaso on their social media platform like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and X, which is formerly Twitter. We have a lot of things inside this package. We have the action camera, a remote control bracelet, which is really interesting, and all the connectors and mounts. So I think that's it. Let's open the box. On top, we have the Acaso Brave 8 Lite, and right off the bat, we can tell it is so much smaller than my other action cameras, which is better. The smaller the size, the better for action cameras, because they fit tight areas. And like any other action cameras today, this comes with a selfie screen for vlogging, or if you want to see yourself while vlogging. And again, like any other action cameras, the front screen is also protected by a removable glass. Let's check all the ports. You have a microphone grill in front. On one side, you have the compartment for the USB-C and the micro SD card slot. At the bottom, you have the compartment for the battery. You have an M button on one side, power button on top, and display button on the other side. So all the sides of this action camera have some sort of keys or ports. And again, this is smaller than my GoPros and DJI action cameras. Opening the box, we have the Brave 8 Lite user manual. We also have a 24 months warranty. And if you need to activate this, use the link or simply scan the QR code. We have two batteries that came on this package, which is really nice. We also have an external charger that can charge the batteries, even if you're using the action camera. We also have a watch type remote or a wrist strap remote. This is really helpful if you're using the action camera while doing cycling, skateboarding. If the action camera is mounted on your head or other places, then it's convenient to use this remote to trigger the recording. We also have tons of mounts and adhesive for all kinds of scenarios or wherever you want to mount the action camera. We got a double-sided adhesive tape, lens cloth, we have a spanner and bandages. So there's so many things included on this package, whatever type of action or activity you have. And I think that's it for the quick unboxing of Acaso Brave 8 Lite. Now let's talk about all the features of this new action camera. Let's talk about the remote and the app for Acaso Brave 8 Lite. There's so many things that we need to uncover on this detailed review. But if you'd like to jump to the other parts of the video, let's say the video test, I will leave the timestamp on the description below. There are two ways to remotely control the Acaso Brave 8 Lite. We don't need to click the record button on the action camera, especially if it's mounted on your head, your body, your motorcycle, or bike. First is remotely controlling your action camera using Acaso Go app. You can use your smartphone to remotely control your action camera, and you have to download the Acaso Go app on the Apple Store or Google Play Store. We're using an Android phone for this review. Once you downloaded the app, you can open it, and you need to add the device on the Acaso app. So make sure to turn on your action camera, swipe down, and make sure that the wireless connection is turned on. On your smartphone, you can click add device and choose your action camera. The app also auto detects your device so you can click that and it will pair seamlessly with your action camera. Alright, here you can see that you can control the action camera from your smartphone app. And you have two functions, either record a video or take a shot. On the image menu, you have take photo, burst shot, self-timer, and time-lapse photo. Later on this video, we will test these features. On the record menu, you have the record video, slow motion, fast motion, time-lapse video, and HDR. Let's try recording a video using the smartphone app. There's a split second lag, so just so you know. And now we're recording, and I'll just move around just to record a few seconds of video. If you click the gallery icon, you will have all the recordings. You can play it on your smartphone. You can also delete or download. So let's download our footage. Once it's downloaded, you can check this on your gallery app. Oh, 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 
The Acaso Go app also have the Discover tab. It's like a social media page where all Acaso users upload their photo so you can socialize with them or see how they use their action camera in different ways. You also have the edit tab where you can edit all your videos, not just the ones you recorded on your action camera, but any other recordings as well. The edit feature is pretty good. You can cut, change the volume or apply filters. Some of the areas are not working for me like the text or applying the sticker icon. Maybe this will get fixed on the next update. And lastly, we have the My Profile tab that gives you option to send feedback, extend your warranty, and change the settings. So I think that's it for the first remote feature which is the smartphone app. We also have the bracelet and this wearable can actually be charged using a USB Type-C cable. So the batteries are rechargeable which is nice. This bracelet remote is really easy to pair. All you need to do is to go to your action camera, swipe down, click preference, and make sure to turn on the remote. This will automatically pair with the bracelet and you have two options, either you take a photo or record a video. By the way, you will also have an LED indicator for you to know that it worked. So I think that's it for the remote control and the smartphone app. Now let's talk about the menus and the recording features of the Acaso Brave 8 Lite. Let's talk about the menu and the features of Acaso Brave 8 Lite and before we turn on the action camera, I just want to compare this with DJI Action 4 and as you can see, it's actually smaller than Action 4. The smaller size is actually perfect for an action camera because you will try to fit this in on a tight spot and less intrusive as possible. Turning on the action camera on the upper left corner of the screen, you will see the remaining shots, the battery life on the right side, you will have the microphone toggle, the menu option or the mode option, you will have the resolution and how long the recording will be, and we also have the digital zoom. Acaso Brave 8 Lite has two screens and to switch between the rear and the selfie, you just have to hold down the M or the mode button and it will switch. Be mindful that it only opens one screen, you cannot use both of them at the same time. Swiping down, you have all the settings from the microphone, wireless connectivity, brightness, screen lock, one key recording, and grid. Again, swiping down and clicking the preference, you have all the settings from voice control, language, video format, video encoding, wireless connectivity, remote, and a few more. Swiping up, you will have the manual settings for the mode you're into. Currently, we're shooting on video mode and you will see the resolution, stabilization. You can use the super smooth for a more stabilized footage. We have the metering exposure, white balance, sharpness, beat rate, and a lot more. Swiping to the right, you have the mode settings. You can change from video, photo mode, time-lapse video, time-lapse photo, Hyperlapse, slow motion, and HDR. And swiping to the left, you will have the gallery where you can play your previous recording. You can delete it or fast forward the video recording. So I think that's all we need to know about the new Acaso Brave 8 Lite. Now let's put this to test and do vlogging, video recording, and do some action. This is the vlogging test of a Castle Brave 8 Lite. So right now, it is sitting on a tripod and we will unbox this metal camera frame that they sent us for review. This camera frame is not included on the package but I feel like because of the construction, this will be a perfect accessory for a Castle Brave 8 Lite. So let's open the package. I just destroyed the package here. And... So you have the screw and the screwdriver for the metal cage and you have the metal cage itself. It has the Acaso branding on top and you have a hot shoe mount if you want to put accessories like microphone or lighting. So you have two, one on top and one on the side. The construction is pretty sturdy and I think you can easily access the camera or put the camera inside by just pulling out this metal on the front part of the cage. So yeah, this is the talking head vlogging test of a Acaso Brave 8 Lite. We're using the internal microphone of the action camera. Let me know if this is a perfect camera phone for vlogging. We are now using the metal cage on a Acaso Brave 8 Lite. I think one thing I noticed when I'm filming using the Acaso Brave 8 Lite is there's a gap on the plastic cage 
of a castle Braveheart light. This is the plastic cage. So you will hear this weird flapping sound when you're doing recording. I will actually put that recording on this video so you can hear. If you're just shooting without the audio, I think that is good enough. But if you will try to vlog, then I suggest you buy this metal cage. It is sturdier and you don't have a gap between the camera and the metal cage. Right now it's also minus 22 or minus 24. So if you'll be using this for ice skating or ice skiing, this will be a perfect camera or action camera for you. Also, I noticed that the battery life on this camera is really good. So that's the recording from last week using the plastic cage. You will notice that there's a little bit of flapping sound on the plastic cage. This is the metal cage. I don't know if you can hear anything. I'm moving the action camera. There's no gap on the action camera and the metal cage. So it won't make that sound. This is the vlogging test of a Castle Brave 8 Lite indoors. So you will have a good sense of my voice or the voice quality of the internal microphone without that background noise. So I have to correct myself with the metal cage. The opening part of the metal cage is on the back of the action camera. So you have to insert the action camera facing forward. That moving part is actually the back part of the case. So just a quick audio test of a Castle Brave 8 Lite indoors. Do you think this is better than outdoors? Let me know in the comment section below. We are testing the stabilization on a Castle Brave 8 Lite in 4K 60fps. Right now the super smooth is turned off and we are using a monopod so you can see the field of view on a Castle Brave 8 Lite. Let the stabilization begin. Still recording in 4K 60 FPS. Now we turn on the super smooth. So that's the stabilization test for a Castle Brave Lite, both 4K 60 FPS with and without the super smooth. Do you see any difference? One of the features of a Castle Brave 8 Lite is auto orientation. So right now it is in landscape mode. So this is what it looks like in 4K 60 FPS on a monopod. Now we're switching to the portrait orientation. So this is the portrait orientation or portrait mode. Well, portrait orientation on a Castle Brave 8 Lite. I just tilted the camera. I didn't do anything or switch anything on the camera settings. I hope it's now in portrait mode. So if you are a TikTok user or you upload short video on YouTube, this is a perfect camera for you. Whew. That's a nice exercise. Now we're testing the resolution on different resolution on a Castle Brave 8 Lite. Also the night mode with the metal cage and the plastic cage. Come <laughs> on. 
This is the waterproofing test on a Caso Brave 8 Lite. And it still works. This is the unboxing and full review of a Caso Brave 8 Lite. It's a really solid action camera. Doesn't have all the bells and whistles of an action camera. That is 3 times to 5 times as much as this. You can buy a used GoPro or DJI action on the used market. But again, that would be a gamble on your part if you buy a second hand. But if you like a spanking new out of the box experience, with everything it offers from the 4K60 FPS, super smooth video, and a really solid accessory like the metal cage, a Caso Brave 8 Lite is one of the best value action camera in 2024. And there you go, hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to purchase this product, I will leave the link in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.